Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. Right now it is a winter's day in Tokyo and it's gloomy and cloudy and rainy outside so I thought why not spend the day inside and do something fun. So I'm a big fan of those candy kits, you know, where you make the little burgers, like the pop and cooking ones. They're really popular here in Japan, they're always at the supermarket. So I was super excited when I was on YouTube the other day and watching some videos and I found some Japanese YouTubers doing these, which are candy kits but they are actually Zen Gardens. So after I saw videos of people doing them on YouTube, I was like so excited and I went to my local supermarkets, could not find them anywhere. Uh, it turns out the only place I could find them was on Amazon. Unfortunately, when you order them on Amazon, you have to get uh, six of them in one go. But it comes with two kinds. You can make either a plain Zen rock garden uh, or you can make one with a fish pond in it or a koi pond. Now it's interesting, they tell you what flavors they are on the front. It says that the rocks are flavored like soda, the sand is flavored like soda, or ramen -a, and the rocks are little chocolate rocks that you can add in as well. And for the fish one it says the same thing, uh, soda, sand, uh, rock candy that is chocolate, uh, but then you put jelly on the koi pond. And the best thing is with these, they include a rake, so you can choose your own patterns that you do around the rocks. On the side they have instructions on what kind of patterns you can do. I think I'll make both of them and then try them at the end. Also for all of you English speakers out there, uh, it comes with Japanese and English instructions on the back, so very, very useful. Okay, I think I'm gonna start off with the regular Zen Rock Garden. Ah, I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to try these. All right, let's open up the box and see what's inside. Cute. So it's come with this little uh, wood looking cardboard box, which is gonna be the, the base in the box that we put the garden in. I've got a rock tray that'll help shape the rocks. A little garden rake, which I'm gonna use. I'm so excited, it's so cute. These two are gonna be the rock candy powder in two bags, and then this is the sand powder. Yeah, it comes in four bags, and then we've got the chocolate rocks as well. The things that I will need is a mug or a cup, a spoon, measuring spoon, water, and a plate. Okay, let me go grab those things. So first step is to put the rock candy powder into a mug, add five cc's, and stir well with the spoon until it gets moistened thoroughly. Okay, it's one teaspoon, easy. Oh, yeah, it smells like soda. <laughs> so you can see, it kind of looks blue actually. Very interesting, okay. Oh, one teaspoon of water. Gotta stir the heck out of it. So it's gotta be quite solid. Oh wow, that is a strong smell. <laughs> so you can see it's already becoming like a, a thick paste. Yeah, looks like dirt. So the next step is to fill the rock tray with the rock ramen and then put it in the fridge. It actually, it feels like sand. Definitely feels like sand. Okay, it says store them in the refrigerator. So I'm just gonna go put these in the fridge. There you go, my beautiful rocks. Say goodbye. Oh man, this room is gonna smell like soda for a long time. Okay, so the next step is to put the sand in the sandbox. Okay, so four bags of sand into the garden and smooth it out with the rake attached. Are we really expected to eat like four bags worth of dry soda candy? Time to smooth out the sand. I love this little rake, it's so cute. I'm just gonna shake it. Yeah, that's way easier. <laughs> that's like perfectly even sand now. I need to get the rocks now, we're pretty much almost done. Okay, so I gotta tip these out on a plate. My little rocks, very cute. Okay, I can just put them wherever I want, okay. Ooh, this is exciting. And then I get to do whatever I want with this. Oh, this is harder than it looks. Okay, I gotta concentrate. Oh, hair's going back.
Oh, this is hard. Something smells like coconut and I don't know what it is. There's no coconut flavored things in here. Oh, it's not good. Uh... <laughs> I finished it. I'm just gonna put little rocks on. It's not the best. <laughs> but hey, I could start over if I wanted. Oh, the sun came out. Oh, it's bright. Oh, okay, so I got the, uh, the chocolate rocks. Oh, they smell so good. I'm concentrating so much. Okay, oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Here is my little Zen rock garden. Look at that. A little close up so you can see how bad my raking skills are. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the second one which has the koi pond in it with the fish. Okay, so this box is a little bit different. Um, in the actual garden box itself, it has a picture of koi in the background. So we have some powder here that's going to turn into the water jelly. And then we have some of the sand right here. And a mold for the pond. And then also some candy chocolate rocks. So I'm going to need a mug, measuring spoon, spoon, a toothpick, and water. I hope I have a toothpick somewhere. Okay, I have a little cup here. So in the cup I need to put the jelly mix and 30 cc's of water. Two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put the jelly mix in. Oh, it's so sugary. It actually smells like um, candy floss, fairy floss, cotton candy. Ah, oh, that smells really good. <laughs> That's one of the nicest smelling things I've ever met or seen in a, uh, in a candy kit. They usually smell super strong of soda or grape. This uh, this little picture I'm using, it turns out Eric made it um, when he was in high school or college, I think. It's very nice, very cute. It does also look like the handle is an ear. See that little ear? <laughs> Mix and then microwave for 40 seconds. Actually, I just checked the instructions that I'm gonna have to let it sit in the fridge for half an hour, which sucks. But that means I can take a break and clean up a little bit. So it says to mix it well and then to put it into the, the pond mold and put it in the fridge for half an hour. All right guys, I gotta go put this in the fridge for half an hour um, and I will see you when I get back and I'll clean up a little bit. See you in a bit. Taking a quick break. And I'm gonna have a little wagashi that I got from the supermarket. I love Japanese sweets. Oh, it's white me all the way through. Amazing. Mmm. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I got the jelly here. It's very solid, so I need. I forgot to get a toothpick. Shoot. Yeah, I have to go around the edge with the toothpick and turn it upside down onto the fish. Okay. What if it doesn't come out? Oh, oh, oh! Oh no. I'm gonna move it. Oh dear. Oh, it really got stuck down there. Uh, ah! Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, it even looks like there's bubbles and everything. Okay, fun. All right, so the jelly is done. I need to pour the rest of the sand around and not get it on the pond. I'll just put it like in the corner over here. not gonna do the last packet that is already plenty I'm all good <laughs> okay and now I can just do patterns and then arrange the rocks okay oh what should I do oh it's so hard so they do this one that is kind of like those little uh, crisscross patterns I quite like that 
Oh, this is hard. Oh, I'm concentrating so much. I mean, it's interesting. Okay, maybe I'll just stick with that. Maybe it'll look better when I put some rocks in there. This pack's nice because you get a lot of rocks. So. jelly I think they look so good like the koi blowing bubbles look at that okay I'm gonna get my other one and then actually I think I'm gonna give them a taste This is definitely the most beautiful DIY candy or pop and cooking kind of thing that I've done before. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link to the Amazon link thing in the description down below. Okay, so I'm gonna give them a try. I'm really nervous. Also, I'm worried about children that try this because there's no way that it's safe for any human to eat this in one sitting. So just, if you have a kid, be careful about how much of this they consume. Cause that's a lot of sugar. I think to start, I'm gonna try one of the rocks. One of the homemade rocks. I feel sad taking it out of there. Like I kind of want to have it on my, my desk or something. It's so cute. Okay, I got one of the rocks. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Here we go guys, eat the dakimas. I'm nervous, it's so sugary. recommend putting a whole rock in your mouth do not do that the flavor isn't bad it's not as bad as other like mini cooking things that I've done before it's just so much it's it's like putting a spoon of sugar in your mouth it's still quite dry and oh it was, it was so much sugar so sweet and also a little bit tart a little bit sour from the ramen flavor oh I'm gonna eat one of the rocks now the uh, the chocolate rocks because I think they're pretty safe Delicious. Little bits of chocolate with a, a harder candy coating. Okay, I don't want to do the washing up and we have no spoons left, so I'm gonna eat the sand off the back of a butter knife. I'll have that much. I think, you know, what? Like those dipping candies where you get like a candy stick and you dip it in the sherbet and you, you lick the candy stick. It's like one of those, if you had a candy stick, you could dip it and like eat a bit of it. It would be a great experience, but because there's nothing to dip it, it's just eating powder and it's a bit, it's a bit much. It doesn't taste bad. And last but not least, I'm gonna try a bit of the, the pond jelly. Not quite sure how to go about it. Feels bad, I worked so hard on this and now I'm just eating it. It feels wrong. My art. Okay, I have a little sliver of jelly. Here we go. <laughs> wow. I think because of all the water that you put in, the flavor's really nice. It's very subtle. It's not as offensive as anything else. It's just a little sweet, plain jelly. It's great. Jelly's one of the best bits. Jelly and the candy chocolate rocks are great. Sand is pretty good. Soda rocks, way too much. <laughs> this is awesome. I hope that these become more available in stores here because this is definitely one of the better ones. And there's more to do. Like you can spend ages like decorating the, the sand and everything. I think it's great. I recommend this to everyone. Super, super fun. So because I had to order six of these, I have some leftovers. So if you guys are interested, I'm happy to do a giveaway. If you guys are interested in getting either of these gardens or one of each of these gardens in a giveaway, just let me know in the comments down below and say you're interested and I'll put it into a random generator and see who the winner is. And then I'll contact you and then send these off to you in the post. All right, that's it for me. Thanks you guys so much for keeping me company on a, on a rainy 
cold winter day. I had a great time. After this, I'm heading to Osaka. So after this, there should be some Osaka related content. But in the meantime, check me out on Twitch. I stream three times a week. Link is in the description down below. Come along if you want to have a chat. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Done it!